You know, trends come and go quite quickly nowadays, you know? You know, a restaurant goes viral because of like a dessert they make or a drink they make, or you know, a waffle place goes viral because all their waffles are penises and vaginas, which is actually a thing, by the way, that actually happened. And this usually leads to hundreds of people every single day coming to your business, trying to buy your product, queues outside all the way down the street, which is great for, you know, money for the business. And then it dies down a little bit, you know, but there's still, you know, there's still the need to go, but perhaps it wasn't as popular as it was before. And then give it two more weeks and everyone's like completely over it. But what if, right? What if your neighborhood went viral? Or even more precise, what if your house went viral? Ooh. What if swarms of influencers, big and small content creators, swarmed to your street, outside your house, to perform completely uneventful TikTok dances in the street? You know how it is. Or what if they were like, you know, just miming to their phone and then uploading that, that kind of thing. Every single day. Yeah. Yeah, even the weekends. This is exactly what happened very recently with Notting Hill. Now, if you aren't familiar with Notting Hill, Notting Hill is a district in London. It's part of a royal borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Kensington is one of my absolute favorite places in London. It just looks beautiful. The houses are stunning, and it's just like a bit more cleaner than the rest of London, really. Notting Hill is known for, and I quote from Wikipedia, being a cosmopolitan and multicultural neighborhood. And it also has the super famous Portobello Road Market. Portobello Road, you know that song? Is that from Mary Poppins or Bed Knobs and Broomsticks? It's in a thing, there's a whole song about the Notting Hill Carnival, which is every year, it's a good time. And one thing that's really interesting about Notting Hill Carnival, right, is, um people who live there kind of like open up their toilets and charge you to use their toilets. And it's really great because you get to like peek inside people's houses. I paid to go into this one guy's house once to use his toilet. And um, there was just shit everywhere. It was like a hoarder's house, but organized. Like the stuff he was hoarding was on like platforms. Wooden boats everywhere, but properly displayed and dusted, you know? Oh, and of course the movie Notting Hill, which I personally think is shit, but whatever. Most areas of Notting Hill are really, really beautiful, really nice and Instagrammable or TikTokable, I guess you could say. Please observe. So beautiful houses, colorful, bright. This looks kind of like normal touristy. Like you yeah, have these houses, Cute, people are taking selfies, people are taking pictures, people just having a nice Notting Hill time. <laughs> that house needs to be cleaned on the outside. Great place, you know, quick snap, get going. And you know, we sometimes see these things online, like just, we just watched that and like, oh my God, so cute, that is really cute. It'd be nice to have a little walk down there one day when we're visiting London town, you know? Why not? But that isn't, that's not bad. Nothing that was happening in there was bad. People were being, you know, taking quick pictures, leaving. Let me give you a taste of what people who live down these streets are experiencing on the daily with the content creators. It's not the tourists. If you're in London, you're used to the tourists, right? It's the content creators, which is just a new word for influencer. And let's hear it from the mouth of the people who live in these places. This is an article from FSFstoppers. Dot com residents of London's Notting Hill beg <laughs> beg bloggers to stop swarm of Instagram photo shoots. I don't just think it's Instagram. You know, you can tell they're a little bit out of touch because like no one really uses Instagram that much anymore. Residents in London's affluent Notting Hill, oh yeah, it's a very rich area, are complaining that their streets are becoming overrun with Instagram influencers staging photo shoots. Setting to the film of the same name is a regular celebrity horn known for its Victorian architecture and colorful exteriors. Used to it, it's known for it, of course people can take pictures, but residents are now voicing their concern over what they describe as an invasion of young people, not the young people, each hoping to get snaps for their Instagram pages. They're saying local streets have become the personal photo shoot studios of Instator, <coughs> Instatoris. That's a good, that's a good um, thing to call you. Picking up traction over the last six months in particular. So we're talking about a trend here. I was like, that only last a few weeks. This has been six months. And there's a quote here from someone here who lives there. At first it was sweet, but it's just getting crazier. The walls are quite thin and you can hear them laughing and directing photo shoots from our living room on weekends. There'll be at least four groups taking pictures at the same time. It's weird, it didn't used to happen. That's the effects of viral TikTok. And how weird is this? This must be a very strange 
um, Matrix, I don't know, the Matrixy um, thing. Another resident, Olivia Lamb, spoke of witnessing photographers and models setting up camp on her doorstep for hours and says she frequently stumbles upon images of her front door on Instagram. Can you imagine just scrolling at home and you come across a picture of your front door? Imagine it now and picture it now. You're at home, it's nighttime, let's say, because it makes it scarier, doing this. And then suddenly there's a picture of your front door on your phone. Terrifying, that's, that's terrifying to me. Now it gets worse than this, right? It isn't just harmless pictures and shoots and being loud on the street because you need that content of a house. It kind of seems lighthearted to some people. I know there's people out there be like, what's the problem? It's just people doing things. So let's meet Peter, right? Peter is 33 years old. No, he's not, he's 43 years old. And he lives in a somewhat famous or infamous, maybe we should say, pink house. His house went viral for pretty much being the place to have a picture taken or get a, um, you know, do a TikTok outside the front. Please, bear witness. This is his house and there's actually like this, I think it was like a pink tree or something. No, that's a, a different place. I don't know why everyone loves it too much. so much. To me, it's just, a, it's a nice house. Like, I mean, a house in Notting Hill, sure, it will be great. Turn up the saturation in a picture, looks great. Look at this, look at this, look at what someone's doing on his, on his front. So he's lived here for 43 years. And so an X-rated photo shoot is just one of the hundreds of barking scenes. Oh, that means like crazy. Peter has caught taking place in his doorstep. A woman in a tiny leotard, I wouldn't say that's the tiniest leotard ever, ever. it could be tinier, right? Fondles herself and sticks her bum out for a speedy photo shoot on the granddad's steps. Meanwhile, another catches, so obviously this is like footage from his ring doorbell, right? Another catches a blonde woman throwing her hair back and thrusting her chest out in dramatic, dramatic Titanic S pose right outside Peter's door. Both photo shoots were taken in broad daylight. Discussing their behavior, Peter said, I don't mind, it amuses me to watch him. Does. Sometimes it's very interesting. Here's the deal, right? They did this poll and they were like, what should Peter do in this situation? People said paint the house. Some people said put up signs and other people said just move. Here's the deal. It, it, they, they aren't just taking pictures like on his thing, doing like x-rayed things, touching themselves. Families are having pictures taken on this. They go through his gate, up the stairs and sit on the steps. Now, this is like, oh, it's an inconvenience. Imagine your ring doorbell going off. If you have a doorbell that senses motion, sends a thing to your app, app, an app, a notification to your phone, how fucking annoying would that be? So it says he's lived there for 43 years, but it also says he's 43, so I guess he lived there his whole life. He's determined to keep it pink. It's, it's the pink house. It has been the whole time he's been there. But people are physically breaking his property. Tiles in his steps have been broken and chipped away. Paint on the railings have also been chipped away. People rubbing themselves up on things like that. Just to replace the tiles on his steps, bear in mind these are very old properties. It's gonna cost him 2,500 pounds just to replace tiles outside. And of course there is loads of other damage to his property also. And he can absolutely change the color if he wants to according to the laws around where he lives. It's absolutely fine if he wanted to paint it. But as it said, it's the pink house. Everyone knows it as a pink house. And people are like, just move. But let's be real, this house is like millions. You know what I mean? Notting Hill. So I have some TikToky things I found that we can watch together to kind of get more of a grasp on this situation. This is hilarious. You know what? Sorry, just back to that house thing. I would shut the gate. I'll put a sign up saying, please don't come here. One, I'm going to pour a bucket of water over your head. Your looks ruined. Your clothes you rented for this shoe and you're gonna return, or purchase and are gonna return, ruined. Watch this, this is exactly what I would do. The most dangerous <laughs> you know what I find funny about that though, is that they don't turn around like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, we're just taking a picture. They turn around and they're like, like they've been caught, like apologize. This is someone's property. It's not a backdrop for your mediocre fashion shoes. You know what I mean? We have people doing stuff like, I mean, are these, uh, who goes outside a front door? It's like, yeah, if I hung hang backwards outside of these steps, how is that like nice? <laughs> like maybe somewhere <laughs> you'd come all the way to Notting Hill to do this dance in the street. Why do people like? Why do people like? And this this one, this one. Oh, uh, you know, I hope TikTok does get banned. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. This is kind of cute. The balloons, a pink outfit. That That's nice. Uh, you know, contrasting against the houses. She's really, is that someone in the window? 
you know, they've really thought about it. This is cute, a nice little photo shoot on, not very disruptive as long as you're not being loud. If you've ever worked in the fashion industry or, you know, editorial, you know why she's flapping her coat like that. She's getting movement to it, very normal. And she spots him looking, that's so embarrassing, I'm embarrassed as well. <laughs> oh, that's a cute moment. That's a cute moment. That's nice. This is annoying. This is a bit disruptive. Like doing, oh, it's the same girl with balloons. All this smoke and then letting it go, letting the balloons go. <gasps> Look how close they could have been to their like um, poles, TV poles or phone poles. That's really bad. That's really inconsiderate. You could have fucked up some houses of electricity there for a moment. Imagine not having TV for the evening. This was one of the kind of first ones that went viral. Um, and it's fine. I mean, I don't know who watches this kind of, I, I mean, to me, that's not very entertaining, just someone walking down the street, spinning around, um, holding a newspaper. Oh, and another one spinning. Yeah, I don't know why that would be interesting to anyone, actually. I feel like you can do that down any street you know, and it'll be just as entertaining. Like, I'm sure you're used to it if you live in a, like a London home like this, the occasional picture, but for people to add production to it, smoking, like that smoke thing, what if you're walking your dog and your dog hates balloons or fog? <laughs> but I pay to live there, you know what I mean? I think all of those balloons had hit something. Putting a phone up outside someone's house, you have to play the music to dance to it out loud. I hate playing music in public from your phone. I, I can't stand it. It's like, why would you do that? Why are you so inconsiderate? You could, the, if these are old houses, let's bear in mind, right? The windows aren't great. I lived in the property in London that had quite old London windows and they're not great. You can hear everything. So to have that music playing over and over again for you to do some terrible dance to is disruptive and annoying. All right, let me know what you think of these um, Insta, insta oh, I forgot what it's called now. Insta fluences. Uh, Insta Taurus down below. Let me know. Is this disruptive? Is this annoying? Um, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.